everything <laughs> when I stepped on this campus was fast. Everything. The baseball portion of it, to the school portion of it, to the social portion of it, I think everything was really, really fast for me. I was lucky enough to have a great group of upperclassmen. Dave Erickson, Mike Tarsi, they took me under their wing. They kind of showed me the right way to do things. That's really, really important that you guys understand that you guys don't have it figured out. There's a bunch of really good guys on your staff to learn from, right? But if they're pitching and you guys are in the dugout not paying attention, you're not going to learn from the things that they do well. Greg was a fifth year senior when I was a freshman. But when Greg spoke, my ears were open. Everyone here did that well in college that I played with, but especially Anthony. I mean, Anthony as a freshman wanted to compete against everybody. The year we pitched together, which would have been your sophomore year, started to figure it out. And for me, that was awesome because he drove me to compete with myself. All of you are good at something, but not all of you are good at the same thing. So learn from your teammates, and that's just, it's no disrespect to the coaches, but you're gonna listen more to someone who's your peer, in my opinion. Just the mental switch for me was huge. I went from, please don't hit it, to you're not gonna hit it. I always envied Tim's confidence. He always had the most confidence I'd ever ever met out of someone and I I truly envied that. I never lost faith in myself and I think that if you don't have the mentality of how good you are as a person and how good you are as a baseball player, you're not gonna succeed. You need you need you need a high value of yourself in order to succeed. That's that's what's gonna push you. This game's all about confidence. So the biggest thing for me is just having the confidence in yourself and go out there and pitch every every outing you have, every time you throw. Like all the failures I had, it motivated me to, to keep working at it. Surround yourself with people that motivate you to work harder. I wanted to be like Kay, Carson, just because they were the guys. I wanted to be a guy that could be counted on. You guys got to learn how to deal with adversity in life. It helped in the end. I really believe it's kind of helped me steer my way through other obstacles in my life, which I think is really important too. I was out for almost two years and I mean, it's obviously not the most fun process not being able to play, but you just got to be able to stick it out and grind it out, and you're definitely going to come back stronger.